What's up guys and today we got the 91 overall ultimate legend Jerome Bettis move the sticks and battle ready chemistry 91 speed 95 acceleration nice combination there 91 juke and 87 spin with the chemistry boost keep that in mind as well Not that high in the truck and stiff arm department you know this is definitely not the uh, power back version of Jerome Bettis this is more like the speedy uh, shifty version and the 91 speed Honestly, it really wasn't there as much as I thought it was going to be. Yes, he was great in short distances like this right here. Short distances, he was good. But in the long term, you know, those, those long runs, he got caught up a lot. Now, when I tried to turn him into a power back, I had below average success. Grade-wise, I would give that a solid B-. minus. I mean, he had some moments, yes, in here, but nothing that flashy. He, had, he let me down a lot. I mean, I could not believe how many times he would be... You know, I would try to lower the shoulder or try to fight for more yards, but instead he would just get thrown to the ground like it was nothing. Obviously, this is not the power the, the power version of him, but it definitely showed. And when I tried to turn him into an elusive back with spinning and juking, I had slightly better success, but still nothing flashy. I mean, I would have, like I said, I gave his power um, aspect of the card a B minus. I would give give his elusive um, aspect of the, this card a solid B flat. You know. He's not garbage, of course, but he's just nothing special. <laughs> That's the best way to describe this card. He has, I believe, a 67 catch. He did not drop a single open pass, thankfully, but he, he did drop a few in traffic, so I would not lean on that too many times. Carry rating and, you know, these hit sticks. He took, like, oof, I would say maybe a good 11 to 12 hit sticks. He did fumble three times. You see right there? I tried to turn him into a power back, tried to truck that safety, and, and it just backfired in the worst way. And I don't want to blame it on competition, because even though I'm always going against guys who always have the 98 Master Sean Taylor, but still, I mean, going up against those guys, I'm not surprised he fumbled as often as he did. I would say that if you play three games with him, he's going to fumble at least in one of those, at least one of those games he's going to fumble. I would say the only bright spot is the battle ready chemistry, knowing that X is going to be that button you see right there threw those guys off, fell, for, uh, fell forward for a few extra yards. You can see in this play right here, this, the exact same thing, press X right away because I already knew like in my mind, press X if this happens. So that I think is the only uh, positive thing about this card in my opinion. So that's going to wrap this up guys, and right now he goes for around between 30 and 35,000. I would honestly say pass on this card, he's not worth getting. He didn't do anything in the power game, which is not that surprising because he's not a power. Ver uh, this is not the power version card, and even when I tried to use him as the elusive version, he still didn't re do anything to wow me. Just very unproductive. So if I were you, if you were thinking about picking this specific card up, I would say pass on it. N not a good investment whatsoever. I am going to try to review the 90 overall power version of his. I don't like that speed rating, but you know we'll see what happens. But anyways guys, my next review is going to be the uh, Ted Hendricks playoff card. That one should be coming out tomorrow as well. I'm pretty much all done with it. Just got to put it all together. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you boys later. Peace.